Hey guys, I wanted to take a minute and thank Amy Peterson and all you guys out there on Patreon and PayPal for supporting this channel. With YouTube's modus operandi of mass demonetizing every single video I upload and slapping community guideline strikes on me and other channels, I really appreciate the fact that you guys have my six. If you get something positive out of this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody you know. If there was ever a doubt that YouTube discourages certain truth-telling content, penalizing certain channels, and offering safe harbor to content more favorable to YouTube's agenda, we have yet another glaring example. After having a community guideline strike drop off of my channel just two weeks ago, I went to open my YouTube account today and was met with another note from Team YouTube that I was given yet another community guideline strike. And here's how it reads. As you may know, our community guidelines describe which content we allow and don't allow on YouTube. Your video, Miracle in Vegas, Headshot Victim Survives Round to the Head, was flagged for review. Upon review, we've determined that it violates our guidelines. We've removed it from YouTube and assigned a community guideline strike or temporary penalty to your account. Now keep that assigned a temporary penalty to your account in mind because I'm gonna come back to it in a minute. This is a screen capture of the video they removed. The reason I'm able to see the video and you won't be able to when you click on the link I'll provide to you in the description is stated in this little note below the video which reads, We've removed this video because it violates our community guidelines. You'll be able to view this video for seven days from when it was removed. This period allows you to review the content and decide whether you wish to submit an appeal. When you guys click on it, you'll get a screen that says, this video has been removed for violating YouTube's policy on harassment and bullying. Now, if you'll remember, this video which I uploaded on October 8th was about a particular person I won't name who claims that on October 1st at the Jason Aldean concert, he took a bullet to the head that went into his skull and came out, in his words, three inches later. He later claimed on his GoFundMe page from which he accumulated over $26,000 in sympathy donations that his injury included, and I quote, a cracked skull, brain bleeding, brain swelling, fluid in the brain cavity, and he says, my sight is blurry and cross-eyed. And here's that cracked skull, brain bleeding, vision impaired shooting victim showing a clearly skeptical interviewer the horrible damage that bullet supposedly did to him. Now remember, this guy was in the hospital, but he has no shaved head and no sign whatsoever that anything, let alone a bullet, grazed his head. Apparently, here on YouTube, if you say that you believe someone's story is a load of crap, which I did, I have a question for you. What's more full of crap than a porta potty at a chili cook-off? Well, how about this guy? Check out what he says. If you call someone out on what you believe to be obvious BS as they take money from generous but deceived people, and if you question mainstream narratives, you'll be penalized for harassment and bullying. But if you're a guy like Cenk Uger from the Young Turks, you can say something like this about a person right here on YouTube. Fuck you too, Kid Rock, and you can suck my dick. Okay, oh, wow. how do you like them apples? And you are a piece of shit who doesn't understand this country at all. And uh, you wanna get into politics? Welcome to the fucking jungle, dickhead. We'll make sure that you fucking get annihilated. If you're among the protected class on this platform, like the Young Turks and many others are, you can say what Jenk said about someone and according to YouTube, not only will you not be penalized, not only will you not have your video taken down, but you're allowed to receive compensation from YouTube ad revenue and be allowed to continue to receive thousands and thousands of views unhindered. They don't view what Jenk said about Kid Rock as harassment and bullying, but they consider content creators who call someone out on what they believe to be money scamming BS, harassing and bullying. And I wanna be really clear about something. I am not calling for the Young Turks or any channel to be censored, demonetized or penalized. They should be able to say what they want regardless of who it offends. A free market filled with adults who don't need a mommy or daddy censoring the content they see can decide for themselves who they want to watch and don't want to watch. Censorship is destructive to a society because it creates an echo chamber filled with people who lack the ability to think and reason critically. And a society that doesn't think critically is a danger to themselves and others.
What I am calling for is for YouTube to own up to their own hypocritical double standards and overt and covert forms of censorship. YouTube's slogan used to be broadcast yourself. Now it appears to be broadcast only our agenda. The YouTube strike warning continues. In certain circumstances, YouTube blocks content in order to comply with local laws in certain countries. Please note that no penalty will be applied to your account. Remember, keep that in mind. We're coming back to it. YouTubers share their opinions on a wide range of different topics. However, there's a fine line between passionate debate and personal attacks. Again, according to YouTube, saying you don't believe someone's story is a personal attack. But somehow, threatening to cut off the president's penis like this guy did isn't a personal attack. Saying you hate Trump like Eminem does isn't a personal attack. And we love our country. But we hate Trump! And Jank Uger's comments aren't personal attacks here on YouTube. Fuck you too, Kid Rock, and you can suck my dick. Welcome to the fucking jungle, dickhead. We'll make sure that you fucking get annihilated. And they continue. As our community guidelines outline, YouTube is not a platform for things like predatory behavior, stalking, threats, harassment, bullying, or intimidation. We take this issue seriously, and there are no excuses for such behavior. We remove comments, videos, or posts where the main aim is to maliciously harass or attack another user. If you're not sure whether or not your content crosses the line, we ask that you not post it. I don't know, guys. If publicly threatening to cut off the president's penis is not content that crosses the line, then what is? And if this hypocritical favoritism isn't enough to make everything that screams out for justice within you boil over, check out this hypocrisy within their own community guidelines warning. First, they say, we've removed it from YouTube and assigned a community guideline strike or temporary penalty to your account. But then they say, please note that no penalty will be applied to your account. Which is it, YouTube? Do I have a temporary penalty or no penalty? And yet, it's clear from my channel status that I've been penalized. I've been warned that if I receive three or more of one of the types of strikes listed above, they may have to disable my account, and I've had my live stream privileges disabled for 90 days. This kind of behavior from YouTube isn't about poor Brian getting closer to losing his channel. It's about the direction this country and the world is headed in the area of individual liberties and free speech. Censorship is a cancer that takes many forms. It discourages dissenting voices, which, if you think about it, is extremely foolish. The philosopher Mencius once wrote, to act without clear understanding, to form habits without investigation, to travel a path all one's life without knowing where it really leads, such is the behavior of the multitude. Haven't we learned anything from history? Usually, if the majority of people are for something, it's a much better idea to be against it. I don't want what's happening to my channel to happen to other channels. If they attack my channel, they're certainly doing it to many others. And for the sake of truth, we just can't tolerate that. Please share this video with everybody you know. In the past, some YouTubers have experienced positive changes when their subscribers blitz YouTube's Twitter page at Team YouTube. If you feel inclined to do that, let them know your thoughts about their decision on this channel. In the description and pinned to the top in the comments section, you'll find all my social media links so that if I do lose the channel, you'll be able to connect with me. And if you want, take a second to subscribe to my backup channel. I really appreciate all your support and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with others. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification button and you'll be alerted when I upload new videos. Today's featured shirts are protecting and serving the crap out of you Taxation is legalized theft and critical thinking in progress. Please stand by. Your $5 off promo code is in a link in the description for you for every shirt in the store. And don't forget to leave your thoughts for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yesterday's trash queens saved the blessings for